Hello everyone and welcome to this demo video explaining Mirage activation methods. This is the first demo video focusing on the bottom-up activation approach. The second one focusing on the split activation approach will be linked below. What is VM activation? By virtual machine activation, we understand the connection of the virtual machine to the Nuage Network's overlay domain. When a virtual machine is instantiated, the VRS, uh, Virtualized Routing and Switching Module, uh, will capture the event and will send the VM-related information to the VSC, which will in turn send it to the VSD, which will match uh, uh, the VM details with the defined policy and if the virtual machine has the right to be connected to the Nuage domain uh, it will assign an IP address. There are two virtual machine activation types that are used by Nuage Networks VSP. The first one is bottom-up activation also known as metadata activation um, in this approach, the user will create the virtual machine and will define the metadata. Uh, next, when the VM is switched on, the new network's VSD will create all infrastructure elements automatically. This is the big port, the VM interface and the VM object. This workflow is designed for user interaction. In the split activation workflow, the user will create the virtual machine but won't define any metadata. Next, the user or an orchestrator will create manually uh, the vPort interface and VM objects in VSD using API. And then the VM settings will be matched by the new VSD. As we may see, uh, this approach is designed for orchestration engines because it involves um, more interaction with the API and can be automated. As discussed before, uh, we focus in this video on the bottom-up activation and more particularly in a VMware environment. Uh, when the user or an orchestrator creates a virtual machine using the vCenter, the vCenter will place uh, and boot that VM, meaning that we will, it will pick an ESXi host from the cluster and will uh, instantiate the virtual machine on that ESXi host. The VM will get connected to the uh, corresponding DV switch Next, the VRS will be informed that there is a new uh, virtual machine with the, and here are the metadata and the corresponding information. It will uh, then override the VLAN settings of the port and communicate to the VSC the metadata of that virtual machine along with the VM details. The VSC will communicate this information to the VSD who will match it against uh, the defined policy and if the virtual machine has the right to be uh, uh, instantiated it will provide it with an IP address. Uh, this being said, let's move into the demo. Let's start by taking a look at our environment. We have our uh, VMware environment uh, connected to Nuage containing two ESXi hosts. Moving on to the vCenter integration node, we have selected require metadata, which means that we will be using the bottom-up activation approach. In the VSD, we can see the lab enterprise with the layer 3 domain inside with the zone 0 and subnet 0 connected to it. Moving back to the vCenter, we have created a virtual machine called Alpine, which we want to connect to Nuage. 
First, this virtual machine needs to be connected to the Nuage DMPG port group, which means Nuage Virtual Machine Port Group. Next, we move on to the Nuage Metadata plugin and we assign the metadata. The plugin is interactive, meaning that every time we interact with it, it will get uh, information from the VSD and populate it. When we click Apply, the plugin will push the metadata. The next step is to start the virtual machine and check if it has been connected to Nuage. We can see that the virtual machine appeared in Nuage and it has an IP address that has been provided by the VSD. Let's open its console and see if it has IP connectivity. We can successfully ping the gateway. We can also check the metadata that has been pushed by the Nuage plugin by going into the VM options, edit, advanced, edit configuration. This concludes the bottom-up activation demo. If you want to see the split activation demo, please follow the link in the description.